Cambridge English Preliminary English Test Listening Sample Test There are four parts to the test. You will hear each part twice. We will now stop for a moment. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at question one. One. What did the girl buy on her shopping trip? Hi, Lucy. Have you been shopping? Yeah, getting stuff for my room at college. What's it like? Well, not large. There's a bed, a desk, but nowhere to put books. And there's only one big light in the ceiling. I prefer to have a lamp on my desk, so that's what I got today. If I've got enough money, I'll get some bookshelves next week. They had some lovely big cushions on special offer in the department store. I nearly got one today, actually. So maybe the bookshelves can wait. Now listen again. Hi, Lucy. Have you been shopping? Yeah, getting stuff for my room at college. What's it like? Well, not large. There's a bed, a desk, but nowhere to put books. And there's only one big light in the ceiling. I prefer to have a lamp on my desk, so that's what I got today. If I've got enough money, I'll get some bookshelves next week. They had some lovely big cushions on special offer in the department store. I nearly got one today, actually. So maybe the bookshelves can wait. Two. Why did the plane leave late? Good morning. This is your captain speaking. I'd just like to apologize for the late departure of the flight. As you know, we had to wait for the runway to be cleared of snow before we could take off and get on our way. We'll arrive in Manchester in about an hour, and we're told the weather on the ground isn't good. There's heavy rain in the city, and we're expecting strong winds at the airport as we land. But we shouldn't be too far behind schedule. Thanks for your attention. Now listen again. Good morning, this is your captain speaking. I'd just like to apologize for the late departure of the flight. As you know, we had to wait for the runway to be cleared of snow before we could take off and get on our way. We'll arrive in Manchester in about an hour, and we're told the weather on the ground isn't good. There's heavy rain in the city, and we're expecting strong winds at the airport as we land. But we shouldn't be too far behind schedule. Thanks for your attention. Three. What activity does the woman want to book for the weekend? Hello. I'm just ringing to book an activity at your leisure center for the weekend. I was hoping to book a sailing lesson, but I understand from your website they're all full, so I'm wondering if there are any cycles available to hire instead. There's no information about those. I'd really like to join one of the group rides through the forest. I think I'd enjoy that more than the car racing I tried last time. Could you ring me back to confirm? Many thanks. Now listen again. Hello. I'm just ringing to book an activity at your leisure center for the weekend. I was hoping to book a sailing lesson, but I understand from your website they're all full. So I'm wondering if there are any cycles available to hire instead. There's no information about those. I'd really like to join one of the group rides through the forest. I think I'd enjoy that more than the car racing I tried last time. Could you ring me back to confirm? Many thanks. Four. Which cake will the girl order? Have you chosen a cake yet? I'm not sure. I guess you're having the lemon one. How did you know? Because you always do. I suppose I do. So, what about you? Hmm. I might try the one with the strawberries on. You had that last time and you weren't keen on it, remember? 
I'd go for the chocolate cake if I were you. Mmm, the chocolate one does look good. Might be a bit sweet, though. Oh, I think I'll have the same as you. Now listen again. Have you chosen a cake yet? I'm not sure. I guess you're having the lemon one. How did you know? Because you always do. I suppose I do. So, what about you? Hmm. I might try the one with the strawberries on. You had that last time and you weren't keen on it, remember? I'd go for the chocolate cake if I were you. Hmm. The chocolate one does look good. Might be a bit sweet, though. Oh, I think I'll have the same as you. Five. How much must customers spend to get a free gift? Stacey's Supermarket has some wonderful offers for you today. Buy six bottles of Stacey's own fruit juice in any of our great tasting natural flavours and the price will be only $9.99. That's a huge saving. And we have a mystery present for all shoppers. To get yours, buy goods today with a total of at least $19.99 and we will reward you. And take a look at our special party food. Buy everything for a birthday meal for six, including a cake, for as little as $29.99. Now listen again. Stacey's Supermarket has some wonderful offers for you today. Buy six bottles of Stacey's own fruit juice in any of our great tasting natural flavours and the price will be only $9.99. That's a huge saving. And we have a mystery present for all shoppers. To get yours, buy goods today with a total of at least $19.99 and we will reward you. And take a look at our special party food. Buy everything for a birthday meal for six, including a cake, for as little as $29.99. 6. What did the family do on Sunday? Did you have a good day out on Sunday with the children? Yes, we'd planned to go and see the big fish at the Sea Life Centre, which opened recently, and then go and see a film. We got to the Sea Life Centre and it was so full we were told to come back an hour later. We did and it was worth the wait. Much more fun for the children than the art gallery we saw some weeks ago. Couldn't get to the cinema though, but we had a good day. Now listen again. Did you have a good day out on Sunday with the children? Yes, we'd planned to go and see the big fish at the Sea Life Centre, which opened recently, and then go and see a film. We got to the Sea Life Centre and it was so full we were told to come back an hour later. We did, and it was worth the wait. Much more fun for the children than the art gallery we saw some weeks ago. Couldn't get to the cinema though, but we had a good day. Seven. Which program is on first? Good evening. It's eight o'clock and time for tonight's news. There's something for all tastes coming up later on. If you're staying up late tonight, then you can catch a repeat of last Saturday's Come Dancing program. If you don't have the energy for that, then stay on this channel for Quiz Challenge with teams from Manchester and Oxford competing in the final. Before that, however, you can watch Lucas Wilson preparing some traditional Polish dishes. But now, here's the 8 o'clock news. Now listen again. Good evening. It's 8 o'clock and time for tonight's news. There's something for all tastes coming up later on. If you're staying up late tonight, then you can catch a repeat of last Saturday's Come Dancing program. If you don't have the energy for that, then stay on this channel for Quiz Challenge with teams from Manchester and Oxford competing in the final. Before that, however, you can watch Lucas Wilson preparing some traditional Polish dishes. But now, here's the 8 o'clock news. That is the end of part one.
Now look at part two. For each question, choose the correct answer. Eight. You will hear two friends talking about a new clothes shop. I see you've been to that new clothes store in the shopping centre. Oh, you saw the logo on these bags. Yes, it's really popular. I got a couple of tops and some trousers. Who did you go with? On my own, but the assistants were nice, telling me whether things suited me or not, and getting me to try different sizes. The coolest, most fashionable stuff has already gone, but I was glad I found things I liked that didn't cost too much. They weren't expensive compared to some things there. I'd better tell my sister to get down there. Now listen again. I see you've been to that new clothes store in the shopping centre. Oh, you saw the logo on these bags. Yes, it's really popular. I got a couple of tops and some trousers. Who did you go with? On my own, but the assistants were nice, telling me whether things suited me or not, and getting me to try different sizes. The coolest, most fashionable stuff has already gone, but I was glad I found things I liked that didn't cost too much. They weren't expensive compared to some things there. I'd better tell my sister to get down there. Nine. You will hear two friends talking about a pop band's website. I've got tickets for the Blue Angels concert on Saturday. Would you like to go? Yes, great. How did you get them? From their website. I tried to do that once, but I had to give up. It wouldn't let me pay for some reason. Yeah, it's confusing. I had to phone the helpline. They showed me how to do it. They should just make it simpler. Otherwise, I've no problem with the website. It posts new stories about the band members nearly every day. Yeah. And some of the replies to fans from the two guitar players are really funny. Now listen again. I've got tickets for the Blue Angels concert on Saturday. Would you like to go? Yes, great. How did you get them? From their website. I tried to do that once, but I had to give up. It wouldn't let me pay for some reason. Yeah, it's confusing. I had to phone the helpline. They showed me how to do it. They should just make it simpler. Otherwise, I've no problem with the website. It posts new stories about the band members nearly every day. Yeah, and some of the replies to fans from the two guitar players are really funny. Ten. You will hear a woman telling a friend about an art competition she's won. You'll never guess, I've won first prize in that art competition I went in for. Wow, congratulations. What's the prize? A weekend in New York with free entrance to all the art galleries there. That's fantastic. I know, but I have to go before the end of the month and I can't get the time off work. Oh no. Yes, I can't believe I have to miss such a great chance. At least you know the judges thought highly of your work. I suppose so, but it wasn't one of my best pictures. Now listen again. You'll never guess, I've won first prize in that art competition I went in for. Wow, congratulations. What's the prize? A weekend in New York with free entrance to all the art galleries there. That's fantastic. I know, but I have to go before the end of the month and I can't get the time off work. Oh no. Yes, I can't believe I have to miss such a great chance. At least you know the judges thought highly of your work. I suppose so, but it wasn't one of my best pictures. Eleven. You will hear two friends talking about the girl's flatmate. My flatmate's driving me crazy. I can't believe that. She's so shy. Yes. Never says a word. I do all the talking. I've nothing to complain about there. She has her music a bit loud. I can see that'd be annoying when you're trying to study. Actually, 
It's the way she never picks anything up that bothers me. Her stuff is all over the living room and bathroom as well as her bedroom. Her music helps me concentrate, so I don't mind that. You should speak to her. Now listen again. My flatmate's driving me crazy. I can't believe that. She's so shy. Yes. Never says a word. I do all the talking. I've nothing to complain about there. She has her music a bit loud. I can see that'd be annoying when you're trying to study. Actually, it's the way she never picks anything up that bothers me. Her stuff is all over the living room and bathroom as well as her bedroom. Her music helps me concentrate, so I don't mind that. You should speak to her. Twelve. You will hear two friends talking about a football match. Not a great day for our team. Well, they didn't win. But actually, considering how many guys couldn't play because of injury, they didn't do so badly. They played well, actually. I heard they're putting more effort into their training programme and we're beginning to see the benefits of that. That's right. I think the main trouble they had tonight is that they just don't believe enough in their own ability. Yeah. Now listen again. Not a great day for our team. Well, they didn't win. But actually, considering how many guys couldn't play because of injury, they didn't do so badly. They played well, actually. I heard they're putting more effort into their training programme and we're beginning to see the benefits of that. That's right. I think the main trouble they had tonight is that they just don't believe enough in their own ability. Yeah. Thirteen. You will hear two friends talking about a tennis match they played. Pity we didn't win, but we played quite well. You played well. I was rubbish. I need to practice a lot harder. It's difficult to find a time when we're both free for more practice. I know. And I must improve my fitness first. You can run all over the court and attack every ball. I'm not a good athlete like you. How do you do it? Well, I go to the gym four times a week. That's what I need. Can I come with you? I want to be in really good shape for our next competition. Sure. Now listen again. Pity we didn't win, but we played quite well. You played well. I was rubbish. I need to practice a lot harder. It's difficult to find a time when we're both free for more practice. I know. And I must improve my fitness first. You can run all over the court and attack every ball. I'm not a good athlete like you. How do you do it? Well, I go to the gym four times a week. That's what I need. Can I come with you? I want to be in really good shape for our next competition. Sure. That is the end of part two. Now look at part three. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one or two words, or a number, or a date, or a time. Look at questions 14 to 19 now. You have 20 seconds. You will hear a radio presenter called Anita talking about her holiday in Cuba. Hi everyone, Anita here. On today's program, I'm going to tell you about the week I've just spent in Cuba. We arrived on Sunday, and on Monday morning, we went on our first visit. This was the National Gardens. These are full of trees and flowers, and there was a fantastic waterfall that everyone stopped to admire although the rainforest exhibition was the bit I liked best. 
On the second day, we went on a trip in a sailing boat to swim with dolphins. We had a very exciting time. We had to wear special electronic armbands to keep off any sharks. No one saw any, fortunately. We had the option of travelling to a river valley in the countryside west of Havana the following day. I felt a bit worried as the programme included crossing a range of hills by horse and I haven't ridden much. We met a noisy motorbike on the track, but I managed to stay on somehow. On Thursday, there was a day's visit to the capital city. I loved the atmosphere of the shops and restaurants. We went to a theatre to see a musical in the afternoon. Luckily, not a serious play, which would be difficult for me, though my Spanish is improving. On Friday, we went on a visit to a farm. I thought we were going to see coffee being grown, but in the end, we went to a farm that produces sugar. It was okay, though. We had lunch there. It was quite a celebration with guitars and delicious food. Saturday was free for us to explore. I found a street full of jewellery workshops and bought a few rings to take back as presents for people back home. I was sorry later that I hadn't bought any of the beautiful leather belts back. Maybe next time. Now listen again. Hi everyone, Anita here. On today's program, I'm going to tell you about the week I've just spent in Cuba. We arrived on Sunday, and on Monday morning, we went on our first visit. This was the National Gardens. These are full of trees and flowers, and there was a fantastic waterfall that everyone stopped to admire, although the rainforest exhibition was the bit I liked best. On the second day, we went on a trip in a sailing boat to swim with dolphins. We had a very exciting time. We had to wear special electronic armbands to keep off any sharks. No one saw any, fortunately. We had the option of travelling to a river valley in the countryside west of Havana the following day. I felt a bit worried as the programme included crossing a range of hills by horse and I haven't ridden much. We met a noisy motorbike on the track, but I managed to stay on somehow. On Thursday, there was a day's visit to the capital city. I loved the atmosphere of the shops and restaurants. We went to a theatre to see a musical in the afternoon. Luckily, not a serious play, which would be difficult for me, though my Spanish is improving. On Friday, we went on a visit to a farm. I thought we were going to see coffee being grown, but in the end, we went to a farm that produces sugar. It was okay, though. We had lunch there. It was quite a celebration with guitars and delicious food. Saturday was free for us to explore. I found a street full of jewellery workshops and bought a few rings to take back as presents for people back home. I was sorry later that I hadn't bought any of the beautiful leather belts back. Maybe next time. That is the end of part three. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 20 to 25 now. You have 45 seconds. You will hear an interview with a woman called Vicky Prince, a champion swimmer who now works as a swimming coach. I'm talking to champion swimmer Vicky Prince, who started competitive swimming as a teenager. Why swimming, Vicky? 
Well, though my parents are interested in sport, they aren't great swimmers themselves, and we didn't go swimming that often. I learnt at school like everyone else and just seemed to be good at it, so my teacher persuaded me to go in for competitions. I mean, I did join a swimming club later, but that wasn't where it all started. Did you have to do lots of training? I did. I used to get up at five to go to the pool, which was a 35-minute drive from our house, where I'd swim till eight. I'd have breakfast in the car while mum was driving me to school. After classes, I did exercises in the school gym to build my strength before lunch. Then later on, it was back to the pool for another three hours. Mm, so it was a hard training program. Yes. It meant I couldn't go to things like parties because I had to get up so early. But I got used to that. Much harder was losing two of the friends I'd known since I was very young because I couldn't go out much. That was tough. I also missed school trips to France, though I did get to go there later, so it didn't matter in the end. But you won a national competition. Yes. I was in the team that took first prize in the national finals. I always swam for enjoyment, so I was surprised to find myself holding up a cup. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't swum that well in the semi-finals, so I guess the crowd were more interested in the other swimmers in my race. So that made it easier to do well. Of course, I'd trained hard too, but I always did. And now you're a coach, teaching other people. Yes, I've just done a qualification to be a coach, but passing on my own experience is how I can really help them. And because I've both won and lost in competitions and recovered from that, it's something I can share with people. Winning isn't just about technique. <laughs> And you've taken up long-distance swimming? Yes, just as a hobby. I mean, I do want to maintain my fitness levels, but that wasn't the main reason for choosing it. And long-distance swimming in the sea isn't all fun. It can be hard work. But you do get to see some wonderful places, and that's what attracted me to it. Now listen again. I'm talking to champion swimmer Vicky Prince, who started competitive swimming as a teenager. Why swimming, Vicky? Well, though my parents are interested in sport, they aren't great swimmers themselves, and we didn't go swimming that often. I learnt at school like everyone else and just seemed to be good at it, so my teacher persuaded me to go in for competitions. I mean, I did join a swimming club later, but that wasn't where it all started. Did you have to do lots of training? I did. I used to get up at five to go to the pool, which was a 35-minute drive from our house, where I'd swim till eight. I'd have breakfast in the car while mum was driving me to school. After classes, I did exercises in the school gym to build my strength before lunch. Then later on, it was back to the pool for another three hours. Mm, so it was a hard training program. Yes. It meant I couldn't go to things like parties because I had to get up so early, but I got used to that. Much harder was losing two of the friends I'd known since I was very young because I couldn't go out much. That was tough. I also missed school trips to France, though I did get to go there later, so it didn't matter in the end. But you won a national competition. Yes. I was in the team that took first prize in the national finals. I always swam for enjoyment, so I was surprised to find myself holding up a cup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hadn't swum that well in the semi-finals, so I guess the crowd were more interested in the other swimmers in my race. So that made it easier to do well. Of course, I'd trained hard too, but I always did. And now you're a coach, teaching other people. Yes, I've just done a qualification to be a coach. But passing on my own experience is how I can really help them. And because I've both won and lost in competitions and recovered from that, it's something I can share with people. Winning isn't just about technique. And you've taken up long-distance swimming? Yes, just as a hobby. I mean, I do want to maintain my fitness levels, but that wasn't the main reason for choosing it. 
And long distance swimming in the sea isn't all fun, it can be hard work, but you do get to see some wonderful places, and that's what attracted me to it.